Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Felipe Zuluaga y bienvenidos a un nuevo video. Hola. <risa> bueno, como ustedes saben, por acá estoy con un invitado muy especial, amigo Umar. Sé que hace muchísimo tiempo no podía grabar, pero por fin pudimos encontrar un tiempo en que los dos pudiéramos grabar. You know, this guy is very busy, he can't shoot videos, he's so busy always, uh, he's never sleeping, he's always studying, always studying, so he can't shoot anytime, so, so yeah. So the first question, would you like to visit Colombia? Yes, I would. Why? From what I've seen in the pictures, it's great, and I want to come to Colombia and play football. Most of them I'm sure are better than this guy. <laughs> You know we play football in Colombia already, so I like the way they play. We have uh, sometimes a fixed schedule of playing football. We go every Tuesday with some Colombian people that play here, and it's very nice. Which is like a pet peeve I do that you find weird. <laughs> every morning he wakes up. I'm asleep at that time, <laughs> but he wakes up and I hear this, <laughs> and he has these weird pills. <laughs> he has every morning. Every morning he wakes up and he has. These pills, and he also brushes his teeth ten times a day. <laughs> to be fair, the pills are biotin. You have to take them because they help you with your health. They Or you could just be healthy. <laughs> How many times a day do you brush your teeth? Three, like normal people. You don't. You brush it twice. No, when I wake up, <laughs> during the day, and then when I sleep. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. What's the thing that you like and dislike about Latin America? Like girls? <laughs> of course. Dislike. They speak too fast in Spanish. <laughs> and and when, when when some of them have had too much to drink, <laughs> they, they feel like they feel like the person next to them <clears throat> who's taking care of them should understand Spanish. <laughs> and that person is not from any of the Spanish-speaking countries. He's from Pakistan, <laughs> so obviously he doesn't understand Spanish. But they expect that person to, you know, <laughs> understand Spanish. It's not easy. It's a funny story. I don't know where you get that from. Ya sé que va a decir acerca de esta pregunta. I know you so much now that I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what you, your answer is going to be about this question. Okay. How do you feel having a roommate? So cute. That's the question. That's that should be for him. That should be for him. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. I knew. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah. Let's see. Who is the most disorganized? <laughs> Who do you think? I think you. I would agree with that. <laughs> yeah, it's me. <laughs> What do I think of you making videos? Mm -hmm. At the start, it was really weird. What? Depends. Depends. Depends on what video it is. If it's a video of you know him going around Sydney showing everybody in Colombia what Sydney is like, it's great. But if it's a video about me sleeping, <laughs> it's a bit weird. But that's the whole experience. I have to show everyone everything. This is for all the thousands watching this video. Would you feel comfortable if you woke up <laughs> to somebody like on top of your bed making a video of you and whispering in the camera? <laughs> A él le gusta mucho, le gusta, le gusta, ¿sí qué? Uh, no. <laughs> ¿Qué fue lo primero que pensó cuando te conoció? I be mean, talking about the way it is, no. First I think I don't know. No, I just don't remember what I was wearing. So the first time I met this guy was when we came here and we had a, an orientation event, and I sat next to him. Because that was the only chair that I could find, and he was making, he's recording it on his camera, and he's talking into his camera, and I was like, <laughs> I felt like he's one of those people who's left home for the first time in their life, <laughs> so they can't believe what's happening. So they're just like. Cuando Umar llegó a esa misma orientación, yo lo vi, y lo primero que yo pude notar de él fue ese cabello que tiene. Ustedes lo ven, tiene pelo blanco. Yo dije, este man tiene 40 años, literalmente. Yo lo vi, yo dije, ¿qué le pasa? It's called the salted pepper look, by the way. <laughs> It's called the old look. Yeah. Was it easy for you to have a roommate? I really hope my previous roommate is not watching this. <laughs> Even if he is, don't really care. That was not easy. He was from a different. <laughs> <laughs> he was from a different culture. Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Hygiene is not something that's. Strong. I don't want to generalize. It wasn't strong. Chinese. <laughs> like he wasn't very hygienic. He had a morning ritual which included noises out of different parts of his body. 
I made sure to wake up before him and leave the room so he could do that stuff himself. But then this guy was much easier and it was fun. La historia que estamos viendo desde irnos entonces nos conmueve porque de pronto nos vamos a volver a ver dentro de mucho tiempo. You have to be very careful how you answer the question. Okay? Okay. Did you know anything about Colombia before meeting me? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> Falcao, because as he knows, he's one of my favorite players of all time. I knew Colombia because of that and then obviously because of the 2014 World Cup and everything. And then obviously I watched a few TV shows. Uh, so I knew a bit because of that, but mostly because of football. Probably the only one in the house that I live in. Australia. Yeah, in Australia that didn't talk to me about narcos and like this kind of stuff. What didn't you like about me as a roommate? He wakes up too early. <laughs> he wakes up at 9 in the morning. <laughs> or earlier sometimes. Or even, yeah, 9 in the morning is the latest that he wakes up. 9 in the morning is the earliest that I would ever wake up. Waking up timing doesn't matter. So, Umar has a nice ritual with his alarm clock. So if he has to wake up at 10 in the morning, he would put his alarm at 9 and then he would start snoozing the alarm. From 9 a.m. to 9.10, 9.15, 9.20, 9.25, 9.30 and then from 9.30 he would go from 9.32, 33, 34, 35, 36, that's it. That's what everybody does. <laughs> no, that's not true. How can you say that? Things that I do that don't go along with your culture. Maybe I eat pork. Yeah, that's what I thought to say, eat pork. Muslims, they don't drink. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, he's an exception. Ya acabamos. We finished. Ya sí, hemos terminado. Esas fueron todas las preguntas que teníamos. Muchas gracias a todos por participar en Twitter con las preguntas. Thank you very much, Umar, you for helping us making out this video. People really like you. I'm pretty sure they have seen you a lot of times in my videos before. You wanna say something to the people that are watching you? Yeah, keep following this guy. The best YouTuber ever uh, that I met in my life because I've only met one. It's been very nice to have interacted with you. Sometimes awake, sometimes asleep. This guy's the best, the best roommate I've ever had. I came here to study. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have gone to any class. I came here to have fun. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have had any fun. I came here to play football. I genuinely wouldn't have been able to play football if it wasn't for him. For me, it was a very nice experience also having you as a roommate. It's my first time and I wouldn't do it again because I'm pretty sure I wouldn't find a roommate as good and as a nice friend as you. I really am going to miss you, man. We don't express ourselves, but it's very important to do it. So yeah. here in front of the camera, I'm telling you I'm gonna miss you and I love you so much. My nice roommate. Muchas gracias por ver este video. Vale, es una muy buena persona. Así que vayan y lo siguen. Omar, ¿tu Instagram account? Uh, Omar.sahi. <laughs> Omar.sahi. Lo voy a dejar en la parte de abajo para que lo sigan. Sí. No se olviden de dejarnos un like y suscribirse al canal. Y nos vemos después. Chao. Chao.